Hello, hope you are doing good. I'm your host Jason and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a personal website for a resume. The platform that we'll be using is Wix Website Builder and you'll be able to get started for completely free. You don't need a credit card or anything like that to sign up. All you'll need to do is go onto Wix.com. From there you can sign up using your email address or your Gmail account. Once you are signed up, you will be redirected to a dashboard just like this. And all you'll need to do is tap on create new site in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on create new site, you will be redirected to a new page. Then I want you to tap on go to basic setup. After you have selected go to basic setup, from here you are going to tap on the search bar and you will type in resume and you can select resume then tap on next. After you have selected next from here you can enter your website name and since this is a personal website I don't know if you want to enter your name you could do that right there and enter your name. After you have entered your name from here you can select the features that you would like to be added to your website. So you can add your portfolio, then you can select whether you would like to also add a blog and you can also scroll down and you could add an online store if you plan on selling anything and also if you want to add your Instagram feed you can do that and if you would like to add any sign up forms or anything like that you can also do that. Once you are finished you are going to tap on next at the bottom of the page. After you have done that, you are going to tap on begin with a template. After selecting begin with a template, you will be redirected to this page. And on this page, you will be able to choose from numerous templates as you can see right here. And this is definitely one of the standout features when it comes on to Wix compared to other website builders. As with this template, you will be able to create a stunning website even as a complete beginner and I normally choose from one of the top two or three right here and if you don't see a template that you would like to use you can select portfolios or you can select personal and you'll be able to see other options as you can see right there so you can tap on portfolios you can tap on personal it all depends so let's say I would like to use this one all you will need to do is tap on edit then it is going to automatically open a new page and you will give it a few seconds while the website is being composed in the background. You have a few options. You could tap in the box here and type out some minor details that you would like to be added to your website and their AI will be able to compose articles that can be added to your website by tapping on generate site text. But I would recommend that you tap on the X right here to close out as we are going to be doing this manually. So we'll tap right there. Then you're going to tap right where you see 50% in the top right hand corner. And we're going to increase the zoom. And at the moment this is how the website looks as you can see right there. Now to start editing. So the first thing we'll be doing is changing the name. So we are going to hover over the header section. Then from here we'll tap on quick edit in the top left hand corner. After selecting quick edit from here you can tap on the button right here to change the name to your name. So let's say for example I want to change it right there. After you have done that you can tap on the X to close it. And after you have done that from there you can see that it has been changed and that's how you'll be able to edit any section. So let's say we would like to change the image also. We can hover over this section then tap on quick edit. After you have selected quick edit you are going to see a pop up window on the right hand column as you can see right here. And again we can scroll down change the title so you could tap right here to change the title and you can type in your name then from there you can type in your occupation right here. You can also change the background image. So let's say for example we would like to do that we can tap on change then you would select image. After selecting image 
from here you're going to see a pop up so just give it a few seconds then you're going to tap on upload media and you'll be able to upload an image from your device or if you would like to use a copyright free image you could do that so let's say for example i would like to use a copyright free image of a photographer so let me do that real quick then you could type on enter right there and from there let's say i would like to add an image so let's say this one i could tap on the image then tap on change background and you'll realize that the image has now changed after you're finished from there you could tap on back then tap on the x right there and you can scroll down and it's as simple as that to make changes so if you would like to edit this section also all you have to do is simply tap on the paragraph then from there you can edit the about me section if you want you can edit the text right there by simply selecting the text then tap on edit text so if you like to change the font size you can do that change the font style you can do that also now to edit your resume or to upload your resume better yet all you need to do is go over to the top left hand corner tap right where you see home or page and this will give you access to all of the pages that are currently on your website so once you select home from here you could tap on portfolio so let's do that real quick so after selecting portfolio you're going to be redirected to the portfolio page as you can see right here so you can scroll down and from here you'll be able to edit your portfolio as you can see right here you can also edit the contact information and the picture right here if you want so you can make all of these changes and if it is a case that you would like to add an image that you don't see or better music or anything at all to your website all you'll need to do is go over to the top left hand corner tap on add elements after you have selected add elements from here for example if you like to add text you can select text and you can drag and place it wherever you want on your website if you like to add a button whether it's a paypal button or so on you can do that quite easily and if you like to add a gallery so you can do that if you like to add images you can do that if it's a case that you would like to add a contact form or donation form or subscribe button anything at all you can do that by selecting contact forms and you can also add video and music quite easily and to add your socials so for example your facebook and instagram link you could select social then from there you can add whichever social media platform you want it is quite easy to edit and use wix once you're finished all you will need to do now you could tap on preview in the top right hand corner to preview the changes then you could tap on publish and you will be provided with a free url and Wix will also host your website for you. So you can see how it looks at the moment right there. And if I were to tap on bio right here to go back, you can see how it looks. So you can see right there, the resume pops out and they will also be able to download your resume. And if I were to tap on the heading name right here, it will redirect me to the main website page and that's it as you can see right here it's quite easy to use thank you for watching if you found this tutorial helpful and informative please let me know and thanks again for watching if you have any questions let me know in the comment section